Anthony Johnson versus Yoel Romero. Anthony Johnson retired from the UFC's light heavyweight division, ranked at number one. He has bone crushing, phenomenal power, and he drops his opponents. Johnson had three knockouts in a row. He smashed Jimmy Manua, Ryan Bader, and Glover Teixeira all with his hands by, by incredible force. And it's scary to watch. He's a phenomenal wrestler, a freak athletic specimen. Anthony Johnson at 205 pounds is full force, pure brutality. Recently, Yoel Romero left the Ultimate Fighting Championship and he fought Israel Adesanya in his last fight for, for a title, although he lost that fight. Yoel Romero was ranked really highly in the UFC's middleweight division before his departure. An ex-Olympic freestyle wrestler, Yoel Romero is extremely explosive and has phenomenal power as well. Scott Coker recently said that we're gonna get to see a fight quite possibly between Rumble Johnson and the soldier of God, Yoel Romero. I spoke to Chris Cyborg on text and she told me something similar. She said we might see this underneath her fight with, with Kat Singano. This is a fight fan's dream, seeing Yoel Romero step up in weight versus a man that could knock him out, really hurt him. Anthony Johnson in the first round is as explosive as it gets and Yoel Romero might just have the perfect game plan, the perfect abilities to fight off a man like Anthony Johnson. Johnson, early on, is explosive. He's fought five round fights, and although he's never went the full five rounds, Yoel Romero has, and Yoel Romero might want to go out there and grind versus Anthony Johnson. Use his striking, but resort to his wrestling and taking the fight down early. Do anything he can to wear Anthony Johnson out. And later on, in the later rounds, in the later part of the rounds, in the deeper waters, try to submit him. Yoel Romero is as explosive as well. He has phenomenal power, but in this fight, he's stepping up in weight, taking on a bigger man at six foot two inches tall. Anthony Johnson is only 36 years old right now. And although he's missed a, a big part of his prime, retiring at 33 years old, Romero is not getting any younger. He's lost three fights in a row. He really needs a win. Yoel Romero might want to go out there and really utilize his wrestling, push Anthony Johnson up against the fence, utilize his striking as well, utilize the proper technique that he needs, but finish Anthony Johnson the way Daniel Cormier did. Be able to absorb the shots of a man like AJ, that's something that is hard to do. If Yoel Romero can do that, we might see Yoel Romero cruise to victory here. Either that or Yoel Romero will get his fourth loss in a row and be absolutely decimated on the canvas, and Anthony Johnson will have his first win in Bellator. Either way, this is an incredible fight here. I'm gonna go with Rumble Johnson. He's a younger man. If he can fight off Yoel Romero's wrestling and his striking and just use his technique, and land shots early on, I think it's gonna be a short night. So I'm betting on Anthony Rumble Johnson.